Hey there guys, Tom here yet again. Um, so, I was saying in my last video that I will do a much more in-depth review of Sandboxy. Now, I, I did notice that I actually did a review about a year ago. Um, nearly exactly a year ago actually. Because uh, I did it on the 14th of April. And it's right now the 13th of April. So, nearly a year later, I'm doing another review on Sandboxy. Which is pretty amazing. I don't know how that happened. Anyway, so yeah, you know, we have to wrap this uh, web page yet again, and uh, you know, we have the the diagram which explains everything. Pretty much wraps it up in a word. Now, one thing I want to focus on is a statement that they make on their website. It says, Windows stays lean. Prevent wear and tear in Windows by installing software into an isolated sandbox. Now, the thing is, is that it doesn't actually say um, bad software, it just says software. So, if you think about it, um, if you wanted to install something that you're not going to be installing, you know, have it installed forever, you know, maybe it's best that you just install it into the sandbox, even if it's something like Sea Cleaner. Maybe you're not having it. Um, you know, you're not going to have it always, but you just want to install it into sandboxy just because you don't want to leave any any trace behind because it's all right there in the sandbox. Um, and yeah, you know, just just the. Um, the tutorial that I'm going to show you right now is just going to be, you know, it's just going to explain a heck of a lot, actually. So, anyway, let's start off logically. You know, Sandboxy is a security application, right? So we're going to, you know, uh, put some viruses in it with this that I used in my la in my last video. So let's install Sandboxy. Now the old versions, and I tested them, they uh, they make you have to reboot after installing it. So this one is much better. So the new version is really, really, really is quite good. So you know already we've got our sandboxy all set up. Um, so. I'm actually going to pin this to the taskbar, and I'll show you why. So let's just say that we're actually using Sandboxy as our primary form of, of um, protection for our system. So we're not going to have any antivirus or anything. This is just this is it, okay? So you know, here's some programs that I'm not too sure about. You know the story. And, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just put them on my system. You know, just willy-nilly put them on my system. Hmm. Right. It's taking a bit of a while. Um, okay. So, yeah. um, got to stop this scam because it makes it insane. There we go. And then going to send you. Stop this thing. That's fair. I think. Just go away. Run Spy Axe and Run Spy Quaker. So, this is just the typical like, example of what I mean. You know, you, you're not too sure of something, you download it, and there it is. It's a bad program, and then you delete it because it's in a sandbox, you know, 
so yeah, th you know, th this is this is the example where the sandboxy has actually just saved us from getting infected, you know. So yeah, and then you go ahead and you empty the sandbox, and it's all gone. But what you know, what if we actually want to just sandbox everything? What if just you know we're going to sandbox everything? So we're going to sandbox our our web browser, you know. So if there's a rootkit or anything that you know, so um, I think I think I've pretty much made the point about the viruses. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the contents for now. So you know the viruses are just one of the many things that we get in there. So we're gonna use our web browser, and you know we're just browsing online, just just randomly. We're doing our shopping, whatever, man. You know, just just everything that we do in everyday life. So if I go ahead and download CCleaner, for example. You know what's going to happen? It's going to be installed into the sandbox. So anything that we run from from Internet Explorer, it's actually just going to be run straight ahead in the sandbox, no question. It's untrusted. You see the little hashes up there and the yellow box around it? It's because it's sandbox. So you know, we've got we've got C cleaner. Now if I was to just click analyze um, now see the thing is is that actually all of these um all of these files are actually the files that have been created using the sandbox internet explorer so literally you know these aren't really real but they're actually just all in the sandbox because that's all it can get to and if we just close that off and go to all programs you'll see that ccleaner is nowhere to be seen because it's actually just in the sandbox because it you know that's all it, that's as far as it's gone and that's as far as it can access that there is no personal information in the sandbox at all. It's just, you know. So say um, I'm only going to nine eight because um, that's I'm, I'm just trying to get some examples here. So so let's install something else. Let's install some extra PDF. Now you see the point where running your internet browser sandboxed of course, you know, obviously really you're not gonna do it all the time. But you know, but then again, what if it's sa what if it is safer? You know, the thing is is that it's gonna be really annoying because things like C Cleaner, you know, C Cleaner is actually designed 
to, you know, be able to access your files to delete all the junk that's on there. So really, you know, I mean, what do we do about this? Well, if I go to files and folders in view, uh, whoops, if I go, yeah, so go there, and then go all files and folders, and then I go drives, and C, if I click recover the same folder, Uh, I don't know. So if I go to the program files now in my actual C drive, you'll see that C clean has been restored. And if we want to restore the shortcuts, we just go all users and record the same folder. I'm going to say move and replace. I know what's going on hmm. This is much different than when I tested it on Windows XP. Um, there we go. So, you know, now we've got our We've actually got the um, start menu back, so now I can actually just comfortably go to the start menu and start C Cleaner, and now it's actually on my system. So that you know that was easy, but then the thing is, is that we've got the registry as well, because if I wanted to go to a control panel and add or remove programs. An uninstalled program, it's not in there. Now, for some programs, you know, you might actually need the registry entries, and that's not good. In CCleaner's case, the thing is, is that, you know, it's pretty much standalone and it's got a little uninstaller. But forgetting about uninstalling stuff, for some programs, you may actually restore it, and then you don't, you know, you just simply do not have the registry for it. So, you know, we've got all these RegHive files. Now, you know, personally, I don't know what to do with these in order to put them in the registry or whatever. Um, I, I've tried right-clicking and saying recover, but um, you, can't recover the, you can't recover them. So, if you wanted to test out a game or whatever, um, you know, you couldn't really install it into the sandbox. You'd have to actually install it for real. So what I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is is that some uh, I've I've heard some speculation on just using this as your only layer of protection. But really you can't because you know in some cases you need to install things for real if you know what I mean. So yeah, you know it but this gives proof anyway that actually uh, any registry entries um, that it tries to put in, it's actually in here. Now, if we go to C Cleaner, and I think it should prove me right. Um, okay, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> so, actually, when it is sandbox, it does detect the real Internet Explorer temporary files. But um, anyway, so that that's pretty much the sandboxing part. You know, as I've already showed you, if you want, um, so you know, that's how to recover anything that you've installed and you can trust it, like CCleaner. But as far as the sandboxing a web browser goes, you know, if if you click on a link that someone sent you on Gmail, for instance, and it takes you to a Trojan that is injected um, into your computer, if your sandbox, if your web browser wasn't sandboxed. You know, you, you could have a very serious problem, and you you won't be able to boot into Windows and all sorts. But because it's it would be in a sandboxed web browser, you know, th there's just zero chance of that happening because it just simply goes into the sandbox, and then as long as you have automatically delete enabled, it will be deleted. 
and your system won't have suffered at all. And there's no way of anyone spying on you and collecting your information and all of that. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that's in the sandbox. And now I'm going to I'm going to remove this sandbox and I'm going to show you that you can actually that you can actually Okay, I guess that that they won't allow you to um, remove that one. But it's very easy to create a new sandbox. You just type in the name. Um yeah, uh, don't. I, I won't bother copying any settings because the point is it's a new sandbox. And click OK. So you know you've got a new sandbox. It's very easy. It's just another folder. Um, so you know you've got practically the same things going on here. Got the sandbox settings. Delete invocation. Um, you've also got false programs. So false programs is a feature of the paid version. Now what I'm using right now is a trial version. So it's it's going to allow me to to um, actually no. Um, it looks like they don't do a trial version anymore because. As you can see, the button is greyed out. So forget what I said. In the paid version, anyway, you add a program in, and it automatically forces it in the sandbox. You don't have to do any right clicking or anything. But to be honest, I'm I'm quite prepared to uh, not pay the money and just go ahead and right click. Um, you, you can also have it so that any programs that run from false folders or are sandbox as well. Um, in configure, uh, as far as the configuration goes, I wouldn't configure it, just don't bother. And, um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it, really. Um, the, the only thing that I would say, though, is that whole thing about having to recover something. You know, it's just, I recovered CCleaner, and CCleaner works, but then, what if I wanted to install a bigger application, and just test it out, and then recover it, uh, well, at least try to recover it, and then I find out I have to just delete the contents, and then go ahead and install it again, you know, but, um, anyways, I'll, um, you know, I'll leave it there. So I think you can I think you can sort of see my point, you know, we can't really actually um recover the registry that we installed into the sandbox should we actually need it back is basically what I'm saying. So anyway, I hope that gives you um a more in depth look at it. Um I thank you for watching and I'll upload more videos soon. I hope you all have a good night and have a good rest of the Easter holidays. Bye-bye.